Hey, good morning, everybody. So for today's video, I decided I was gonna make a video of me cooking something because my uh, girl's actually leaving to head back to Oregon for, I think it's six days she's gonna be there, but uh, it's not for a very good reason. Her father passed away last year from cancer. He had throat cancer and it was kind of out of the blue. Just one day he all of a sudden couldn't swallow anymore and he went to the doctor and they were like, stage four throat cancer, you have like a 1% chance to live. They gave him, I wanna say it was like a month or so to live. That man fought for a year to be around his family, his grandchildren and those he loved. And I have nothing but admiration for a guy that strong. And I know it's gonna be extremely tough on her. So I'm gonna go and pick up some stuff for lunch. I'm gonna try to cook this thing I saw in a flare video, which is kind of an outdoors channel I watch. He does like hunting and stuff like that. Sometimes he cooks stuff at the end with the wild meat. I'm not using wild meat, I'll use beef, but he called it million dollar spaghetti. And it was kind of this hybrid between spaghetti and lasagna. So I would rather call it lasgetti, lasangetti. There we go, it's lasangetti, that's what I'm gonna call it. But I'm gonna go pick up the stuff to make it. I'm gonna make it for her and hopefully she likes it. Cause she told me she's gonna leave from work, stop by here to see me before she leaves. So I think, you know, at least I could do instead of just going and pick something up is actually make her something and see if she likes it. So, all right, let's go to the store. Is there really that much of a difference in all these different pasta sauces? I'm a little confused, I guess I'll get this one. Let me see. Now I need a pasta sauce, what kind? Jesus, look at how many there are. What the hell do I pick? This is gonna be a little more troubling than I thought. <laughs> and then I need some cheese and then I'm out of here. This sounds good, roasted garlic and herb. 229, let's go there. All right, now I got the ricotta cheese. And I need some mozzarella. That looks good. Oh, they got creamy milk. Let's go with that one. Let's try this. And I should be good to go. All right, guys. So I'm officially back from the store. And I have the shit I think I need. The ricotta. We already had Philadelphia cream cheese. Already had the parm. Had to get this. This. The ricotta, as I already said. Mozzarella. And... Pound of ground beef, right? So, this lasagna, lasagna, spaghetti kind of thing is gonna be kind of fun, right? So, I've got this heating up for the beef. This I'm trying to get to boil. I've already salted it, right? So, I'm not like a master chef or anything by any means, but I think I can manage this one. I mean, I was 605 pounds, so I know how to eat, just not much of a cook. But I'm gonna combine all these ingredients into the bowl, maybe season them up, whatever. I'm still sweaty from running in the door. <laughs> I've got an hour to cook and then she'll be leaving work and heading here. So I should be done by that point and then I'll try it at the end and show you guys. But I'm gonna open all these things, put them in where they need, mix them up. I'll show you guys that part. All right. All right guys, so here's the ricotta, the Parmesan and the cream cheese. Now I'm gonna have to mix all this junk up. Oh, I'm flinging shit everywhere. Don't mind how dirty this kitchen is because there's only a bunch of men who live here. So actually, my girl says every time she comes over, it gives her anxiety to see our kitchen. <laughs> but it's just a bunch of men, so you're not gonna get it clean. Or at least I'm not gonna get it clean. So now, throw in the beef, I gotta throw in the noodles. I just wanted to show you the process and where I'm at at the start. All right, guys, onion powder, garlic powder, salt, Ouch, God damn it! stop splashing me. Chop it all up, chop it all up. We're cooking, damn it. Master Chef Sean. Master Chef Sean getting splashed. All right, now I actually have to pay attention to this and not burn it, so I'll be right back. All right, everybody, now the noodles are in. So we're cooking. Let's let these things get soft. I'll continue to mix that. Then I gotta mix that up and I gotta throw it in here. But I'll get back to you with the assembly part. But I'm getting somewhere, guys. I'm getting somewhere. I was sweating like hell from running around and not burning shit, but I'm getting somewhere. Oh my God. I don't know how you women do this shit. It's hot as hell in that kitchen. I was dripping sweat running back and forth, but 
I think she's actually going to appreciate this because I went out of my way instead of just buying her some fast food before she has to leave and do her flight and all that stuff. And there's a little something I want to let everybody in on. And I had the bariatric surgery. As of this morning, it's 265 pounds down, right? But the person who was always by my side and always there for me was her. The one who called the surgeon was her. I followed through with it. She called and was like, hey, Sean, you know, it's her babe, what she does to call me Sean, but I really need you to do something to change your life and to, you know, get on your feet and get back, back to life, start living again. And I was like, you know what? You're absolutely right. And it took me a long time of not starting and messing up and restarting, but she was there for me through it all. She watched me fail. She's watching me succeed. I'll never ever leave that girl on her own. I'll be there for her till the day she dies. So if getting sweaty and cooking some little meal helps her and makes her happy because I went out of my way to do that, then I'm happy. Also on a lighter note, something funny. You see this haircut? I texted her the other day after I got back. I said, oh, I got a haircut. I can't even look in the mirror. And she was like, oh, why did they mess your hair up? I said, no, I look so damn good. I can't keep my hands off myself. She just told me to shut the hell up, but that's kind of how I joke around with her. Guys, so this is my first time ever making spaghetti, right? I'm trying, I'm trying my damnedest. I think these noodles are done. Here's a noodle. I think you're supposed to do this, right? Is it supposed to stick or not? Cause it bounced right off or is it supposed to stick? Shit, I gotta Google it. Be right back. Guys, so I Googled it and it's a myth that it sticks to the wall. That's not a thing. So now we need to drain it because I picked up that piece off the floor and took a bite. Now I know that's disgusting, but fuck it, we ain't got time. I got a noodle drainer down here. <laughs> Woo, hot mother. All right, we're done with this. Shit, be right back. <laughs> All right, we're in speed mode now. I think I'm good. I think I can take my time with the rest. God, I'm hot. All right guys, ta-da. We've got the spaghetti together. Now we gotta throw it in here. And here's the ricotta, cream cheese, Parmesan mix, and the mozzarella. So now I got it. Oh shit, God. Oh man. Gotta wash them off now, but grab some pasta, throw it in here, throw this stuff in the middle, more pasta, mozzarella. You get it, you get the gist of it, right? So I'll come back during assembly after I clean these damn things. All right, guys, here's what we got. That's half of the spaghetti. That shit smells amazing. Now I have to take some dollops of this, right? And drop it right in the middle like that. I'm gonna do it all the way along, put the rest of the spaghetti on top, then throw the mozzarella on top of that. But I'll get back to you during the finished product and show you exactly what I got. All right. All right, guys, so here's that contraption. At the end, now I'll just add some mozzarella to it. Throw it in the oven at 375 for 25 minutes and we'll see exactly how it turns out. I'll be back at the end for a taste test. Oh yeah, this thing looks fire. This looks good as hell. I bet this is friggin' delicious. All right, well, we're gonna give it a shot and see how it turned out. I think I did pretty good. You hit record? Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't need a whole lot of it because I could only eat a little bit. But I hope this shit turned out good. I mean, it looks good. I think I did all right. Obviously, you could eat more than me, so I'm gonna give you that. Is that enough or not enough? Or too much? I don't know, you're gonna eat it. <laughs> all right, it looks good. I think I did all right. That's a lot. Okay, you'll survive. Be grateful. <laughs> all right, I gotta get you a fork. Hold on. I told them this kitchen gives you anxiety. Yes. Okay, you try that one. Actually, I'll try this one first and then I'll ask you what you think of it. Come on, Chief. Okay, I'm gonna burn the shit out of myself. What's the verdict? I think it's good as shit. I don't mind at all. So now let's see what you think of it. I'm not recording you, I'm just recording me. <laughs> I 
I know you. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. I think I did all right. I didn't get hardly any ricotta in my bite. I'm actually kind of impressed. Yep, told you. Master Chef, Gordon Ramsay, here I come. What? It's good. All right. What sauce did you- All right, guys. So you probably just saw that awkward clip of her filming me, but she just ran out the door to go catch her flight in DC. But I can successfully say, if you make this, You'll get everything you want before she catches that flight. But all right, like and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.